Hello, my name is Rob from Intel Corporation. I'm showing today a technology called Miralink that we've enabled on a, uh, our operating system, which is called Tizen. Tizen is Linux based, and it's a, a project that Intel and Samsung are invested in. And uh, we <coughs> enabled Miralink um, with a variety of smartphones available, um, one of them being the Galaxy S3 from Samsung. Galaxy S3, the Galaxy S3 comes with the, uh, an application called DriveLink, which is installed by on every stock Galaxy S3, so there's no need for you to download this. The way it works is um, you plug your device into the micro USB port. This will be your phone right now, and the application is running. You plug it in, and the DriveLink application that speaks the MirrorLink protocol will automatically start. You agree, a warning and another warning and eventually your uh, phone will show up on the head unit. This head unit simulates a touch screen display that you would find in your car. Um, you double tap to establish the connection, tap again and in a second the application running on the phone will be mirrored and also available to use on the touch screen display in the car. So I can discard this message and show you what this application can do. At this point, it's at this point or in this version of the application, I should say, it is limited to, to three three things. It can be a dialer, so you can make a phone calls with that, and uh, dial a number. Let's say uh, one, two, three. Um, it won't be able to go anywhere because there's no SIM card in this device, um, unfortunately. Otherwise, it should just work. And you can also. Um, going back, um, this card, um, um, use a location service. Navigation itself doesn't work because we, have, we are inside a building where we have no GPS coverage, but we can do nearby and it should be able to uh, locate where we are at this point and uh, show that in a second. Well, we're dealing with a fairly slow internet connection here, so it takes a second to load. Two. <laughs> Obviously, it'd be a lot better if you were outside three, in the car, right? It would be. But the fact that it's not loading, right, uh, not loading at all right now is disappointing. It was earlier. Yeah. Maybe the network is down again. No it's worries. Okay. No, Sorry, yeah, no able, worries. Won't be able to show that one right now. And then uh, we also have a music player application. Where for the music player, it's playing back uh, songs that are available or tunes that are available on the phone, like um, uh, Eagles Hotel California, for example, is one of them. Um, you can see now the phone does play the song, we don't hear anything. The reason for that is that the output would actually be coming out of the head unit here. So if the car speaker system were, were connected to this, then we would now hear, hear the song and the music. Um, the beauty about this application is that it makes the need for a proprietary uh, navigation system and uh, phone application and music player application in the car unnecessary because it reuses the capabilities the phone has already by just connecting to it. So um, applications that the car vendor or the car manufacturer would have to purchase from third parties um, are no longer required because Miralink can would connect to your phone and use it. So Intel is behind the software from Miralink. The software, uh, the software technology Miralink comes from uh, Nokia, it was originally de okay. developed from Nokia. Intel is behind the operating system that runs on our head unit here, which is Tizen. Tizen and yes. Tizen, being Linux based, supports Miralink. That's essentially the message we're trying to make. All right. So, what's your favorite feature? Hmm? Your favorite feature of this? My favorite feature is the fact that I'm thinking this can be integrated with an existing uh, car board computer solution already. And if that eventually outdates, because you never get updates for it, you find that there are features in your phone available, which is much, much newer and faster than the car solution in the first place, then you can connect to it using Neuralink and use it instead. So it's like a plus-plus add-on feature of the existing car solutions. Given, of course, that your car needs to support Merrilink in the first place. Bye.